when we're thinking about what kind of field to collect next, um, a lot of things come into play, but honestly, value is one of them. Um, you can buy a lot more art and build a much more interesting and robust collection if, on an individual basis, things are undervalued. So, while it's not the primary reason that we go into something, it's certainly something we consider. Um, if you wake up one day and you decide you're going to build a collection of old masters, after 30 years, you might have one about the size of a postage stamp because they're, you know, they're very, very expensive. Um, so there's nothing wrong with considering value as a component of your collection. Uh, in terms of what things are worth or whether they go up or whether they go down, that's really not something we think about a lot. Um, I have found that the little secret in the art world, if you do it well, particularly the contemporary art world, is that um, if you buy thoughtfully and do a lot of research and think about who you're attracted to and you have a decent eye, it all takes care of itself. The art, you know, the art world uh, has been great to us and we have not uh, uh, pursued it in a way that is about the economics, but the economics come to you, frankly. You know, it's just about being committed and uh, being involved with the art world.